What's going on everyone, my name is Ultrasonic Hero and welcome to a brand new Ask Ultra episode. So this is a QA and a series that will be answering your questions in the comment section below. And once again, I wanted to give a big tremendous thank you to each and every one of you for getting this channel up to 4k subscribers. Much appreciative, you've been so supportive on the channel, it really does mean a lot. So, I'm going to be doing the usual, I'm just going to be answering your questions in the comment section below and I'll try my damnest to read them out clear. And if I don't, my apologies. You can slap me so in the comment section below. There you go. That was horrible rhyming, by the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's just get to reading them. We have a question from Leo Andrews that he asks, What is your name? If you're asking about my real name, no. My nickname is Ultra. That's all you're gonna get. Goodbye, thank you, end of story. Right, we have a question from Cindy Angel Girl, and she asks, The battle between Neon and Orange was awesome and intense. Which Sonic team do you like and dislike? Ooh, good question. Um, I know one of the Sonic games that I really love, and that happens to be Sonic Mania, because you get to play as my team Ray, and there's Encore Mode, which is a really challenging difficulty game. Um, the Sonic game that I really dislike, of course, is just uh, Sonic Boom Rise Alert, because the game is just underwhelming, it's not properly executed, and... There was so much lagging, it just ruined the experience for me years back. It was just, it was just so underwhelming, that's all I'm gonna say, so thank you for your question. Our next question comes from Blue Hedgehog Command 17 and he asks, What was your very first Sonic the Hedgehog game you've played and what it genuinely got you into gaming? Good question. Uh, the very first Sonic game that I played was the very first Sonic game again from 1991. It was a really good game and then there was Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And I remember playing it on the Mega Drive 2. Those games not only inspired me as a musician or a voice actor, but they inspired me to play a lot more Sonic games and non-Sonic. So I was a, a really huge fan back in the day. And I believe I was about four or five years old. I can't honestly remember, but I know that I was a, a kid back then. The next question comes from Pack Sonic Gaming and he asks, after you finished the Wii game of Sonic Unleashed, how do you rate the game out of 10 and why? I believe I answered that in one of the live streams of Sonic Unleashed. So I give that game an 8.5 out of 10. The story that I loved, and it's not just a story that was really intriguing, but um, the gameplay overall, it was really fun. You know, when you're playing as just a, just a normal Sonic, when you're boosting, hitting badniks. Uh, the Werehog, on the other hand, it was difficult to control and to maneuver, because the controls gave me quite a workout, not gonna lie. Uh, it did give me a workout, but it was a bit frustrating. I mean, it may not be the best Sonic game that I've played, but Sonic Unleashed is a really great game in my book. Not perfect, but again, great. Our next question comes from Avatarian Destiny, and he asks, What is your favourite Sonic music remix that you've ever heard and why? And here's the twist, it can't be from your channel. Sorry, but your remixes are so freaking awesome. Thank you for the compliment. And to answer your question, I think one of my favourite remixes um, from the Sonic music has to be now, I'm trying to remember the name of the artist, because he did a remix of, um, Press Garden Act 2. I might have to look it up for just one second. It's such a banger, not gonna lie. Uh, here we go, so this was made by James Landino. And um, if you want to watch that video or listen to the music for yourself, I'll provide the link in the description below. And you're welcome. We've got ourselves another question, and it's from Nathan Neil Tan. And he asks, when you mentioned about Neon understanding the friendship, you were right. I see how Neon feels about getting along with Sonic and his friends throughout this season. Glad you got that right. Thank you. Uh, what was your favourite type of guitar you like to play and why? For example, acoustic, electric, classical, bass, etc. I've got um, two electric guitars now. I've got one bass and then there's an acoustic guitar. So I'll show you them one at a time. So give me just one moment. Back again. Uh, here's one of my guitars. This is the Skector... It was called Skector C6 uh, Black Cherry Burst. So the distortion on this is really good. And this was about 400 pounds, so I got this in mid-January. And there's the, uh, the head of it. So this is the new guitar that I'm using now to record my own tracks, covers, remixes, you name it. 
And I gotta say, I love the color in the, uh, just on this guitar. Also, you can see my reflection, so hi there. And the other one that I have is a Epiphone. So I've had this, and the other one that I have is an Epiphone guitar. So I've had this for about, I don't know how long, I think three years? Three or four years? I honestly don't know, but this is a really good guitar. I've also inserted the, uh, the Seymour Duncan uh, distortion humbuckers and then the pickups. Pickups humbuckers. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. So I've actually inserted them just to improve the distortion. Because the one flaw that I do have with this guitar is that there's too much like a uh, fuzzy and distorted feedback, which is rather annoying. So th this is the reason why I wanted to get a different guitar that doesn't have like too much distortion because then it kind of ruins the track in some way. And here is my acoustic guitar. This is the Epiphone. Uh, I've had that for probably half a decade. It looks a little bit old, but I still use it to record my own tracks, especially if it's acoustic. So I'll let you, I'll let you listen to this. Just a little bit. So that's what it sounds like when you're playing acoustic. And this is just a standard bass guitar that I've got. I think the brand of it is a Fender? Actually, let me see if I can show this up on the webcam if I can. Wait, give me a moment. Wait, where is it? Uh, oh no, it's not. It's not Fender. Uh, it's a Rockburn. It's a Rockburn bass guitar. So I don't use it that much. Because normally when I'm trying to record bass, I just use the keyboard to play the bass. Because I'm not really that good at playing the bass. I mean, it's different compared to playing the guitar. Because the bass has four strings and the electric has six strings. I mean, it sounds okay. Let's just have a little play. Wait, I've also got two different keyboards. One of them is a Yamaha and the other one is a Roland. I mean, the Roland has this whammy bar thing that actually changes the pitch and the tune of the instrument. But if I had to pick my favorite instrument overall, I would have to pick the Skechter C6 Black Cherry Burst Guitar because the distortion and the audio quality is just amazing. No questions asked, no doubt about it, no hesitation. Thank you for your question. We have a question from TPO Gaming and he asks, What do you think of Sonic Frontiers so far? And rate a score out of 10 please. Alright, well, Sonic Frontiers was a great game to be honest. Maybe not perfect, but it's a great game in my book. And for that reason, I'll give this game an 8.5 out of 10, and not just because that I love the story, but that was made by Ian Flynn, so ramble applause to him. He did a terrific job. But also to the developers that gave this game such care and attention. I mean, the mechanics may not be perfect, but overall, I c it's a passable effort. It's really passable. And also, I just want to point out that the trailers are just so eye-catching. They're just so elegant to the eye. Especially in CGI, so... Applause to them as well. Good job. And last but not least, we have the pinned comment by Lucas RPDJ, the most amazing animator on this platform today. And he says and asks, Once again, these reactions are golden, and yeah, I'm happy to know that the thing about Neon discovering friendship is understandable. I sometimes fear that something is misunderstood with no dialogues, but I'm reassured to hear that from you, thanks. You're more than welcome, and thank you. And if I can contribute to your Ask Ultra video, how did you learn to make music? Did you follow lessons or learn to buy yourself? If this one wasn't asked yet. Good question. So I've got a few answers to answer your question. Um, I think when I was about 14, I learned how to play the drums. A little bit complicated for me, but I actually got the hang of it. And I was about, I was, I was a bit of a childish brat, to be honest. <laughs> I was really childish. Um, and I think I remembered when I was at the age of 20, Two? Yeah, 22. Um, a good friend of mine named Martin, aka Core Mars, he actually taught me how to produce my own music by doing uh, compressors, EQs, noise gates. There's a lot of effects that you can use to adjust and experiment with your own instruments. So I gotta give a shout out to him because he's, he's taught me so much of being a musician. He taught me how to play the guitar properly. He taught me how to mix down the tracks individually. So all thanks to him. He's such an amazing composer. He's into electronic. And talking to which, I happen to know another another content creator that's into electronic music, and he's a big fan of Pendulum, so Polly yeah, Polly B, that's his name. He did a remix of Tropical Resort and then Aquarium Park. If you want to check him out, I'll provide a link in the description below. And give him some love, give him some support, and let him know that I sent you. So, thank you for your question, Lucas. 
Okay, and that does it for today's video on Ask Ultra. Thank you so much for submitting your questions in the comment section below, much appreciated. If you want me to do another Ask Ultra in the future, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. Um, I am going to be doing some more live streams for Sonic and especially uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't know when I'm going to do that, but I'll let you know on Discord and on YouTube. And of course, I wanted to give a big thank you again for 4,000 subscribers on the channel. You've been so supportive. Again, I just can't ever thank you enough. Truly. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it all the way up to the end, please make sure to smash a like, subscribe to my channel for more content, and don't forget to click on that bell to stay notified on all of my uploads. If you want to follow me on my social media, links are down in the description below. Go ahead and give it a click. Thanks again, and as always, this has been Ultrasonic here, and I hope to see all of you in a brand new video. Take care. <laughs>